Can one of Jupiter's moons support life? That is the question scientists and engineers at CU Boulder are helping to solve. Now, news reporter Courtney Yoon joins us live from the Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics. And Courtney, it will take a few years for this technology designed on campus to reach its destination. Yeah, that's right. Good morning, Corey. It'll take six whole years for the surface dust analyzer or SUDA uh, to make it to Europa, which is one of Juniper's moons. And we actually have an exact replica right here outside one of their clean labs of the SUDA here that they keep on Earth. Scientists are especially interested in Europa because they believe there's a vast ocean beneath its icy surface. And that makes them wonder, does it have the conditions that could support life? SUDA is a $50 million space instrument designed and built here at CU Boulder. Laboratory for Atmospheric and Space Physics. Engraved on it is a little Ralphie who will be going on the long journey to Jupiter. It's all part of NASA's flagship Europa Clipper mission. Besides SUDA, there will be eight other instruments from across the country on board. Without ever landing on the moon, SUDA will collect particles ejected from the surface of Europa by tiny meteorite impacts. The instrument is so precise that it can identify what those particles are made of, including whether they can contain organic molecules or salt, or where they and also where they came from on the surface. Dr. Sasha Kempf says the mission will complete 45 close flybys of Europa where the data will be collected and sent back to Earth. So we will basically figure out um, what, how deep is the ocean, how, how thick is the ice crust, what stuff is really in the ocean, how much energy is fed into the ocean. And this will allow us to address very fundamental questions for humanity. The launch window for the Europa mission will uh, opens up next Thursday and it will launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Live in Boulder, Courtney Yoon, 9 News. That is so cool. All right, Courtney, thank you.